שטויות, מה זה? It's imaginations, it's שטויות, it's imaginations. In, in abroad, not in Eretz Israel, you have a lot more power of imagination that brings people to believe in, 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 in the evil forces, in dark forces. שטויות, it's imaginations. And a person can be so afraid that he creates reality. Like that Shlomo Melech is saying, et asher yagorti bali. What that I was afraid of that's going to happen to me, but you create the reality. A person all of his life, he feels that he doesn't have no chance in the relationship and he knows for sure that it will never succeed and he's creating that reality in his life. He's making it happen that his wife is going to divorce him one day. Why? Because he never believed that he's got a chance to have a, a, a sane relationship. He always, so that this is the reason why people that are children of divorced couples, they have more chances to divorce also. Why? Because they saw it. They have that option open for them in their lives. So they can choose it. I see. I saw it happen. It, it, it done some good. Also, it, it's an option. If you never saw it, it's not going to be an option for you. Less chance that you're going to choose it. So it, it, it's not real. Demons, it's not exist. Shtuyot. There is nothing except of Hashem. No, no one can hurt you if Hashem haven't said that it's going to hurt you. Nothing in the world. And if Hashem said that it's going to help you, who can stop Hashem except of your tshuva? So this is why if it reminds you that Hashem is with you, so carry it with you to do tshuva, to get closer to the Creator. But you, the only way to fix everything and to bring Hashem to live with you, it's to, to clean yourself in tshuva and in prayers and in faith. And that's the only thing that there is. All of the rest, it's power of imagination to bring fear and anxieties and stress into the life of people. Demons and this and that. And you say, oh, but the Zohar Kadosh is saying that there are the, the, those are the powers of imaginations. On them, the Zohar is, to, to them, Zohar is calling Shadim. It's power of imagination. If you sinned, so the power of imagination is going to have power to, 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 to distract your thoughts from the truth, from faith. If you're going to do tshuva, you remove it and nothing can hurt you. It's, and this is why it's written that if a person would see them with his eyes and then they can a, a, a attack him. Why? Because when, when, the, when the eyes are blocked and, and sealed, so... I mean, when, when the eyes are contaminated, so then you can see. But when your eyes are pure, so you cannot see nothing. And because they don't have no existence, kiyum, they're coming only out of the reason that you sinned. You made them. What do you mean you made them? You increased the power of imagination because you believed in the imagination. You had that imagination that that woman is going to make you happy. And then you made that imagination reality by pogem bim pogem babrit and sinning and zera lebatal and whatever. You made those imaginations alive by, by, by making it happen. If you're going to do tshuva, you're going to kill it. You're going to erase it. You're going to destroy it. And, and you're going to say one day... What am I chasing after? What's that nonsense? I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't care about it. I don't want to be trapped. After it. That lust, that desire is my prison. It just makes me feel bad with myself. I don't need it. Anymore. And then you, let's get rid of it. And you work on yourself. And, and then it doesn't control you anymore. It all depends in tshuva. It's everything depends in tshuva. You told the story once of somebody in Europe who was about tshuva and he had married a, when he was bride, he had married a goita and had children. Yes. And then he reached a certain level in his tshuva. And he said. And then he all of a sudden heard news from where, where they were that they had, they had, had some kind of accident. Yeah, they, they, died. they died. They died. They died. They died. He felt that he cannot. He he felt like he cannot stand that 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 situation anymore. Mamash. He felt like it's killing him. That that he brought children to the world that were not Jewish, and they died. And in the same day, he died. They died. He heard that they died in a car accident. He didn't kill them. He didn't. But you see that there is no physicality. There is no reality in the in the world of of lie. In the world of imagination, it, it's not exists. It's not real. We're just that's our level to see that.
righteous people, uh, seeing people, seeing realities as letters, as, 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 as combinations of letters, of, of spiritual so private supervision, how Hashem constricts Himself in the table. In the, it's all infinity, it's all endless, it's all the creation, it's all nothing except of Hashem.